Okay, now, we're going to speak a little bit about quantization and the LSS RX-16. Now, we want to go to the quantization page, we go to record setup, and on page one, we can select the, quant the quantizer we, we need. Here in this leader bar here, we have the quantization we have selected. We can change this with these two arrows, or using these buttons, for example, number one. The quantity size is a quarter note. This other one is a quarter note triplet. This one is an eight note. This one is an eight note triplet. This one is a 16 note. This one, 16 note triplet. This one is a third second note. This one third the second note triplet. And here we have the quantity size of and zero quantity size of. For now, we're gonna choose this one, which is a There's a note quantize. Okay? When we're happy with that, we just leave the record setup. So we leave page one and we'll we go back to the normal operation and we search for an empty pad. So we maybe 47 is an empty pad. And we are in perform mode now, but we're gonna go to compose mode. So now here we have the click setup. You know how to do this because we've seen this in other videos. And here you have the quantify that we select. And the tempo is 11914. The tempo is important as well, almost as much as important as the quantify. Because, for example, if the tempo, which I change with these buttons, I rise up to 140, this is an example. I'm gonna try to do a pattern now, you know, playing the pads here, I'll try to do a pattern. And let's see what happens with that tempo. So we are in compose, quantity size. Okay, and when I hit play, the I will start recording or trying to do in the pattern. There you go. You see it's not working. So now I'm gonna change the tempo. I'm gonna put it 114, which is gonna be a slower tempo, of course, and see how the quantity side works. Maybe it works better. So we go back to an empty pad and let's see what happens. If we are not happy with the tempo, after we can change the tempo and put it to our our taste, to the tempo we want. For example, 136, so we go faster. So, and now the 
So this is one way to use the quantize in this Alexis RS16. This is just one way. We're going to see some other examples. Okay. Yes. You, yes, and you also can use the quantization to have to change the feeling, to change the feeling of the drums. In this example, I'm going to go to record setup and the quantity size I'm going to leave it to quarter note in the first place I'm going to choose now here compose and I hit play and, and I began to recording with the pads again let's see what happens how it's different You see, I hit the, the kick drum two times, but it only record one time just because of the quantization. It only takes the, the right hit. Same with the snare. I hit it two times, but only only have recorded one time because of the quarter note quantization. Okay, but now to do another, give another feeling to the drums, record setup, I'm gonna change the quantization amount now, and I'm gonna put this one for example, so this is gonna give us another feeling. I can go back to the recording, play it again, and I will hear what I have recorded, but I, have, I can record something on top of that. different feeling even more okay I stop it now I'm into perform mode and see how it sounds now. So I mix two different I mix the two different quantizations. And this is the result. A different feeling. That's another way to use the quantization in the Alessis Aurora 16 drum machine. Thank you.